Yeah, so we got a little show announcement. I think I tweeted something out last night, and obviously there was an article in there this morning, and I'm ready to talk about my situation, uh, which will be the end of the year my contract uh, runs out, so it will not be renewed, and I will be off this radio show. Um, so, uh, guys, I've been around this business now 15 years ago. Big O put me on the radio in 2008, and I've seen people a lot better than me kind of you know moving on. So, uh, to me, it's not a shock. It's not a surprise. Like, I've, I've seen guys better than me kind of move on. So the company's going in a different direction. Um, but it doesn't mean I'm actually gone in this company. So, you know, I do have an opportunity and, and will probably uh, end up being able to do what I want to do. And that will probably be in the booth, continually talking Red Sox. So I'm really looking forward to that. It's something that I've been hesitant about doing over the years. Because basically, you just get comfortable. You know, you get comfortable in your lifestyle, you get comfortable, you know, money, whatever it might be. And it's sort of like, eh, you know, until I have to kind of move on, like I'm good where I am. Well, it's it's something I've been dealing with and thinking about for some time. And, and now, obviously, I'm going to get an opportunity to kind of pursue that. So sometimes you just need a push in life to kind of maybe take you where you need to be. And that's what I plan on doing. So we'll see where it goes. Nothing is, you know, etched in stone right now. But hopefully for me, I'll be moving on, not on this show. But uh, continue to kind of do what I love, and that's just talking baseball. So it's something that uh, professionally I'm, I think I'm looking forward to, and I think I'm ready. Not to say I haven't had a lot of fun with you two, because it's been a blast. Who did you say. have fun with more? Who was, See, who was why more does fun he always to, go here? Who Mingo? was more fun to hang out with? Why does he always go here? It was me, right? <laughs> <laughs> we started in what, 14? Yeah, it's funny. Like I am not even prepared to even talk about this. I thought I would be fine with it. But and we became I think friends. Of, yeah, well, best friends. <laughs> Stop it, Keith. Best friends. Stop then, it. I don't know. No, uh, I don't mean. Oh, listen, to be honest with you, I have no idea. We didn't uh, prep at all. You had no idea. No, what we were I have doing no it. idea. We're just like we're just going to talk about it. And well, go and it's there. not your last day, so no. I don't feel like we should. I don't want to get into the whole. Boy, it's been great hanging out with you, Lou, and the whole like, you know, that whole send off thing. Like, I personally, I'm not getting into that today. I don't want to cry. I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose my emotional, you know, strength that I have. I think and plus, it's been a lot of fun. <laughs> and again, like, Switch. you know, you sit there. We I remember mocking Key for that for years. I'm like, damn, pretty close to that myself. I gotta suck it up, Mego. That's Get a tough. great thing. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been obviously part of the show for nearly as long as you guys have been together. But Lou, I think the thing to emphasize is that the stuff that you have coming up next, like you, you're you have so much in the future that in the baseball world in Boston, like you are Red Sox baseball in terms of the commentary, the unbiased outlook. People come on here sometimes and they're like, oh, why don't you crush this or that? You crush the Red Sox as much as any other team in the city. And I think the accountability that you put out there is going to be something that I know that we're all going to continue to see from you in even bigger roles in that baseball world. Yeah, and I'm not, you know, I'm not 100% sure what the picture's going to look like. I just kind of know what I want to do. You yeah. know what I mean? And, um, you know, I think it'll go down that path. It's something that, you know, I've been on myself my whole life, you know, whether it be in AAA, AA, spring training, you name it. So I'm not, you know, for me, it's like professionally, I kind of know what I want, how hard I'll work at it and everything else. But this has been, I mean, 15 years is a long time. And I jumped on, that's a long-ass time. Like, it's not like, you know, we... We said goodbye to Glenn last year, whatever it was. I don't know. How long has that guy been in radio? 40? Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like. Well, he invented Sports Talk he Radio. He did invent Lou. Sports Radio. There's a lot of people around here. I know Greg. What's Greg Hill been in for, what, 30 years? I mean, it's a lot, you know? And, and I just sort of think about. It's something actually I've think about recently more and more of like just the business itself and, and what it entails. And it's, it's, you know, it's a lot more work than I think a lot of people think. I know, listen, it's not digging ditches. I've been very, very lucky. I went from playing baseball to doing this. It's been absolutely outstanding. But there is a constant grind of waking up every day. I know a lot of people are like, why are you guys always harping on the negative? You know, and it's like, well, because that's that brings conversation. Hello, you know, how we doing? good, Bill. That's my guy. And I, I he, Bill's a matter of fact, he should stick around for 10 years. Yeah, sign him <laughs> to an extension. But it's like my, the example I always talk about is like 2011, the Red Sox, greatest team ever. I remember for like five months, there was nothing to talk about. Nothing to say because they were just winning. And then uh, beer and chicken took over. And you were like, here we go. It was all day, every day. And that's just the nature of the business. But it's hard. You know, for 15 years, like, you wake up every day. And I know, Megan, you're sort of starting it now. And, and I, you know, I think you're going to be fantastic. I've, I've enjoyed the last five, six months, whatever it's been with you, and just seeing how, like, our, we have come together as a show. But it's hard waking up every day searching for a negative angle to take to start a discussion. <laughs> it is. And people are like, well, that sounds – it's not manufactured. It's not acting. It's nothing. It's just – 
what is what's the conversation? Where's it going to go? Like, how do we get people involved? And if we sit and talk about the Bruins, and it's like, yeah, they're great, they're awesome, but what's the real discussion? Why isn't Pasternak signed yet? You know what I mean? Have they peaked too soon? Like these, you can only talk about that stuff so long. So every day, waking up searching for the negative, it can wear on you. You know, and it just sort of, I don't know if it sort of changes you, you know, whatever. But it's just, um, I don't know. It's so I remember when Dale Arnold left and talking to him about doing Nesson and just doing, like, Bruins. And I remember after, after I had that conversation with him, like, man, you know, this guy wakes up every day now and is just going to think about whatever it is that he's passionate about. That's all, he, that's all he has to do. You know what I mean? And even back then, I don't know how many years ago it was, I was, like, kind of jealous. I was like, whatever. I love what I do. I love, you know, I love doing this for all those years. But at the same point, it's like, it can grind you. You know, it can, it can, it can really grind you. And you know, people that really know me, they're like, you're not, you know, angry at all. Like my wife would, you know, uh, yeah, no. I think she would <laughs> rather that? have me be more angry at times. You know what I mean? And and it's, but it's, it's what the job entails. Like, hey, find this angle, find that angle, and you got to that, That's part of the discussion. It's not all made up. I still think Bill Belichick questionably should be back next year. I still don't know about that. But I'm just saying, like, there's a lot of thoughts you have that you have to find that angle, as you guys know. And you guys will continue to do it, but it's not, it's not made up. It's just how do I get people involved? Well, and Lou, to you, like, I don't know if people have talked about this with you before, but I've never worked with somebody who prepares for an, in any broadcast role as much as you do. Like, People think that we come on here and the mics come on and we just have a conversation and throw stuff to the audience and whatever. But it really, I've seen this for you and I feel like in the short time that we got to be together, I've learned a lot from you on this. But for you to do a four-hour show in the afternoon is an all-day, all-night preparation. And so, you know, I'm eager to see what you do with Red Sox roles and baseball roles in the future because, like, nobody grinds the way that you do, honestly. Honest, like I say that way, Christian, I know that you feel the same way where like, hey, if you're off on vacation, that's a different story. You're <laughs> off, you're off, whatever. Yeah. And then sometimes you still are texting it, us being like, hey, you guys should you guys should talk about this. And yeah. we're like, you should go back to the beach. Yeah. But so I, that's why ultimately, like, I'm excited to see what you do next. I'm appreciative that I've been able to see that work ethic and how much it goes into making something just sound natural and fun and engaging. But I, I feel like that's something that when when you leave a show like this, nobody ever really gets to appreciate on the outside. Yeah. And, yeah and, so yeah. real quick, so if you uh, – I know a lot of people are going to want to, like, uh, call in. Yeah, we don't need we, that. We accept those. But I only want – it has to be – it has to be somewhat funny. And if you could do it in Glenn Ordway <laughs> voice, I'd appreciate it. I, I, I miss you so much, I, and I remember when you were playing. This is going to be it. Yeah, 617-779-7937. It was we're a listen, great we're, run. We're going to be here all week, obviously. We'll see. You know, yeah. I don't even know when the last day will be officially. Know. Listen, I'm going to withhold all my you know, farewells to you because you're not going anywhere, right? And even if you do go somewhere, and when you do go somewhere, it's not like you're going to be out of my life. I know Mega will drop you like a bad habit. Because that's just the way Megal well, is. Yeah. Okay, I you do know, and me, tell on the you, other hand, she only like, I am like a foxhole guy to the <laughs> end. <laughs> Christian's been in this weird You're both mood. everyone here is in my foxhole. The <laughs> last week, you know, like, Christian, I know you've experienced this. Lou will experience it. You know when, like, one of your kids goes off to college and the <laughs> yes. weeks leading up to it, yes. they act like an a-hole to yeah, you totally. because they're trying to ease the separation? <laughs> yeah. This is I Christian right now. Christian's been a jerk to everybody <laughs> all around the studio. He's just trying to start fights <laughs> over everything. It's insufferable. He's just like insulting like, people. 2017, like, Christian. Yeah, we're like, what is wrong with you? He's like, suspend me, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mango called me up last week. He said, "Why are you being such a jerk?" It's like, what do you mean? Shut up, woman. Nobody wants to hear your opinion. Yeah. But I do have an announcement to make. Oh, I do have an announcement to make. What's on your "Got to Try Before I Die" list? The Double Awesome at May May, it's a quirky combo of cheddar, two eggs, and greens wrapped in a scallion pancake. Mm, Why that, would, I just that, would, that? that would be this, the Wait, is, music. Is that Chronicle? I will music? be looking for the elusive white squirrel <laughs> 2.0. You? I feel like we should both work for well, Chronicle. Here's the thing. I said, that, <laughs> I said that there could be some baseball you know, like yeah. stuff in my future, but... I we I we I have been thinking about joining that chronicle. Yeah, team. I'm telling you. You know what I mean? Just to be. This is about I think I instruments could... in Lowell is overflowing. <laughs> I, I it's all the handiwork of Chris Pantazella. <laughs> See, 
I could I could find that. I'm telling you, an elusive squirrel. I'm telling you, like, it's, it's, it's made for us. I think we should. <laughs> but I'll, you know, like I said, I'll, uh, you know, obviously this place, you know, we have the Red Sox on, you know, the, in, in, on the radio. So, you know, there's an opportunity to give me an opportunity to kind of do what I want to do, and that's kind of call games here as well. So that's something I'm really excited about. So, um, I'm not really going anywhere. Just not going to be on this show from two to six every day. Although I could see my, you could see me pop up on the Harbor One Hotline once in a while. Really? Like, as yeah. who? Well, you can't as, be Lou. Why not? What do you want me to be? Well, I think Luis. Sh- no, what was it? Yeah. Bryce White? What was it? What, <laughs> oh, what did you call yeah, me? Jason, White, 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 James. White, James. White James. Joining us on the Harbor yeah. One Hotline could very well be White, White James. James from Marsh Vegas. <laughs> At some time. You know what I mean? So that could happen. Is, are we ever going to play the Angry Lou music again? I don't know if that's... I feel like that should only... That we have, might have to kill that music. I mean, like it, was, no, it no, should no. almost almost, it should almost be an award at the end of the year. It's too good, like the Golden Grenade for reporters. It should be the Angry Lou Award. People get mad, you know. You should play that. It's sort of like you know what it means. You're about to lose your freaking mind. Yeah, you're about where's, to... where's the music? Yeah, that's it. That's what you need. And I tell you what, it's always been good therapy. Ahoy, matey! Dive into <laughs> all things cool. pirate. I have found my future. <laughs> I would like to announce uh, I'm going to host Chronicle. <laughs> oh, God. Special on television.